so hello everyone. So today I, I'm doing something a little bit different, so it's quite a different video. Um, but this is the first recording, it will be going over quite like couple of months I would have thought um so yeah this video I am doing a little experiment so when I got my um alocasia pink dragon I obviously repotted it put it into some fresh soil like my own soil mix and I found quite a lot of bulbs in the soil and I had heard that you could propagate them to make more so I thought why the hell not um so i started this process actually a few weeks ago but i thought it would be really fun to show you guys what i'm doing for anybody else who wants to sort of experiment with their allocation bulbs not sure what to do i thought this would be a fun little video i'll show you all of the good bad and successes all of that jazz um so I didn't really do much research on it. So it is very like very experimental. I'm just sort of winging it. Um, so what I started with, I took the bulbs out of the soil. I sort of washed them out. Um, and I started off by putting half in sphagnum moss in my prop box and half in like a, a little dish with shallow, with a little puddle of shallow water in it and then wrapped it in cling film to obviously keep the humidity up. And it was in there for about two weeks and the ones in sphagnum were literally doing nothing, but the ones in water, you could see, like they weren't sprouting roots yet, but you could see like the growth points were developing. Um, so I decided just to put them all in water because I just thought I would rather try and get all of them to do something rather than just half of them because it, it didn't seem like the stagnum was working all that well. So this is where I'm at at the moment. It's been around a month maybe and I am seeing results which is really fun. So it's currently the 9th of, July, 9th of August I believe and so this is the sort of setup I have got. Get my head out of the way so it'll focus. Um, it is not focusing. Um, so I've just got this little dish and it's just got a shadow puddle of water in it and I've just popped them in and then just covered, just covered the dish in cling film. And probably once or twice a week I will just change out the water because it does get a bit mank. But yeah, so this is a month in now. So this is like a month's development. So let me try and so if you can see I've got some little roots coming here and the tops have started to like push out a little bit you can kind of see um but the roots have only just started the last couple of this week actually and not all of them have got roots only two of them have started push no three of them have started pushing out roots now the others you can see that they're kind of doing something because the top is sort of bulging and you can see that they are oh my god this is so hard to film my camera does not like to autofocus um so you can see on the top here that pinkiness is where it's starting to grow and starting to sprout this is where that is where it will grow from basically um so this is the bottom and this is the top. So I will quickly go through with you like in more detail what I did. So I just took them out, cleaned them off and then obviously they're all brown but they look like this. And there are, I've seen different ways people have done it now. Like now I've started to do it, I was quite intrigued so I had a look. There's not much out there which, I, which is another reason why I thought it would be quite good to do a little video just to show you my method to how fast it grows um sort of what to expect I guess um so this is the bottom this little it's like a knobbly bit um and I think roots will come out of here and they seem to be just coming out randomly from the sides um and yeah I just literally put them in a really shallow dish like half like you don't want them fully covered 
with water because they will end up rotting they need oxygen from the air they need you know that circulation so probably three quarters to halfway covering the bulbs just popped water in there and then i literally just got cling film and just sort of put it over the top so it keeps that humidity in and obviously keeps them warm and encourages them they are on um they're in a window but they only get like a couple of hours of morning sun and with the cling film i think it warms up the um it warms up the water a little bit which i think is helping um and yeah every couple of days i will take the cling film off and leave the cling film off pretty much all day just to get that circulation to because you don't want them to rot um and yeah then i'll just swap out the water so this is as far as i've got now um a little bit of growth but not much um and yeah so i will see you in a little while um with the updates of how they're doing it is now two weeks later i'm not sure what the date is i'll put it below so it's been two weeks since the last update and they have still just been chilling in water it's not been as warm here so not seen as much progress as it has been they were growing really quick before but they are massively rooting they are actually rooting massively and they've got quite a bit of growth on the top um but yeah they've all got quite a few roots on and they're growing quite well right at the top so so i think what i'm going to do is put them into lecker i might try that because my other lecker experiments are doing really well and i just thought oh, why not because these are an experiment it's not like i bought them i just got them out of my other alocasia um so yeah i think i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna put them in a really small um probably quite a small jar or something with lecker just so then i can really keep an eye on the roots and stuff and see what's happening inside if they're like in a, like a glass jar post to like to a pot and then i guess if they do really well i will then pop them into something bigger but yeah so we're going to do that today okay i hope you can see but i've got this little a glass cup thing and i've popped the bulbs in there i've not bothered with the ones that haven't rooted or anything i'm gonna leave them in here for now wait for them to root and yeah i just pop them in and then i'm just gonna cover them carefully with lecker and then fill it in with water i guess okay so i have done it they're all in here and i filled it to about here with water and literally like the tiniest bit of liquid gold leaf but i think you can see you can see like there's some roots in there so i've kind of buried them because obviously they are bulbs they do live underground and obviously the lecker is sort of acting as like a soil medium but I don't know if you can see but i kind of you probably can't because they kind of blend in but the bits that have been growing at the top where obviously the allocations the plant is actually going to grow from i have kind of left them a little bit of a bit so they can grow out so they're kind of already sticking out of the lecker so they don't struggle to grow out my plan is because i want to keep the humidity up until they start sprouting i'm gonna try and get it in here somehow this is like the only humidity thing i'm wondering if i can like do it upside down and put them here and then close the lid over them i might actually see if i can do that now and show you okay no maybe i can take the lid off Okay, so I've taken the lid off. What I'm going to do is put that on there, put it over the top and then reattach the lid, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. Can't actually like close the jar, but my plan is 
it should keep the humidity up enough even if it's not like completely gripped closed so i'm gonna have it like this and then they've got room to like grow up and whatnot so yeah this is what it's gonna look like i'll leave it in like a window ledge where it was before so it's nice and sunny and warm and it gets the humidity up in here so i will check back in with you guys in probably a few weeks when we have some more growth and some more updates okay so we have another update on my alocasia bowls bulbs so a bit of background i had this guy in a dark area and i didn't notice much more growth since i put it in the lecker so i've moved it into this window this week um and obviously it's still in here you can see that there is like air circulation and stuff going on in here because of the condensation but let's take this off and i will show you what's going on so as you can see they are all pushing through the lacquer now they are all doing really quite well i mean that one you can kind of see there's a little leaf coming through you can kind of see the green on the tip which is really exciting then roots wise i don't think there's been much going on there's that one there um yeah you can't really see much root activity but um they seem to be happy because they are growing um but yeah we'll be back for another update guys it's time for another update can we just oh my god come on focus I went away for the weekend and look what happened while I was gone. We have got two leaves coming out. This one's not unfurled. This one is. I'm shook, honestly. I did not realise that this was going to be happening while I was gone. Like, this one's going to soon as well. Like, you can see the green. There was a tiny bit of green coming, but that was it. Like, literally over two days, this has happened. Oh, I can't. Look how cute they are look how cute i can't even is there any updates on the roots i don't know not really like the roots aren't really doing much but it's obviously happy because we've got some baby leaves like oh my god look at that that is i don't want to touch it too much because it's still really really soft but look how cute Good morning everyone, we are here for our final update and I think this is going to be the last one because so it's almost put out all of its leaves now, it's just one left over it's looking very cute, I'm very pleased with the results, I didn't think that it would work out this great but it has so I will turn this camera around and show you where we're at okay so it is still on this little window ledge and this over the top still i take this off like every day two days just to let it air out a little bit but this is the newest leaf let's move this so it's not so backlit but this is the newest leaf it came out this week i think and then we've got these i think this is the oldest leaf this is the first one that come out i've not got any new growth coming from them yet but they just look so cute and so tiny and we've got another one under here that's also not long been out we've got one coming up here it's not quite come up yet it had a bit of leco over the top of it so i think it took a while to push its way out I had to move a bit of lacquer out of its way but it's really full of algae I need to clean it out but you can see the roots are doing really well see they didn't really do much for a while but now they are starting to really go quite mad which is great and at some angles you can kind of see that there's quite a few like in the lecker like you can see some poking out here um so i think they're spreading around the inside of the lecker and they're only just starting to hit the outside that you can actually see so 
Yes. So cute. I'm so glad this experiment worked. I wasn't really expecting it to go like as well as it did and like all the bulbs come up. So shook, shook really. So yeah, that's all for this update. I'm so surprised that all of the bulbs come up and it worked. Like I've only just started experimenting with Lekka, so I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, if anything, I wasn't. I was expecting it not to work, but that's why we do these experiments because it's great and you find all these different ways of doing things. But yes, anyway, that's about it. It worked. It's a great time. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I really need to clean out the lecker just because it's really algae ridden, ridden. But I'll do that probably next week. And yeah, I'll just wait until the roots are a lot more established and I'll pull it up probably in lecker again because it seems to be loving it. And I'm not really expecting much new growth just because it's winter now. Like, I feel like they go pretty dormant over winter, so... We'll see, I'll do some little updates every now and then when we get something exciting and new happening. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too all over the place. Um, but yes, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz and follow my planty Instagram, Ambient Studio. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh.